Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel, I play Dungeons & Dragons with my friends, and we explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics used to defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplaying. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Sarsen Zero, and today I'm joined by Azure Wolf, Blind Oracle, Longfish, and Train Rex. Together we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons & Dragons. This is the fourth encounter on the Mountain of White Dragon, so if you missed the start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Hit points, abilities, spells, items in hand. Plus one short bow in hand using plus one arrows with a instrument of the bards on my back. 139 out of 139 hit points. 112 hit points. Wand of the War Mage. One slot on the Wand of Magic Missiles left. Four first, two second, one third, one fourth, two fifth, one sixth. Fighter has 93 hit points left, just the Great Axe left as a weapon. 119 hit points, holding Warhammer and Shield plus two. I have four level one, three level three, two level four, two level five, and one level seven spell slots remaining, and both charges of Channel Divinity. Monsters, abilities, items, and numbers. This encounter is on the side of the mountain as the adventurers make their way up a cliff face to a castle that is built on the side of it. While they do, they get attacked by a variety of flying creatures that are there. This includes a rope, also known as a rock, however you want to pronounce that, and six griffin. Griffin have a fly speed of 80, so they're going to be nice and quick. They have multi-attack with their beak and their claws, and they have a passive perception of 15, so not a challenge for the rogue. The Roke has a fly speed of 120, so even faster, multi-attack with beak and talons, and they have a passive perception of 14, so less of a challenge. They have advantage on perception checks that rely on sight, so that'll bump them up to a passive of 19, but still not a problem for the Roke. Terrain. There's a bunch of stable terrain that you can stand on, and then there's a 300-foot drop followed by a DC 17 climb check to get back up. Probably don't want to get dropped off of that. You're going to be gone for a long time. This section here is much shorter. It's only 10 feet down. Tactics. What do you guys think for tactics in this fight? AOE. Don't die. Cast fly on those of us who face check things. Range everybody else. Blind Oracle, was that don't die or don't dive? Both is applicable here. On the subject of flight, do we want me to fly the fighter? Go for it. Any other thoughts? Cleric, do you need to be flown? I mean, they can still pick me up and try to drop me off. I think that's going to happen, though. Any of us. I agree that you guys probably need to get in their face. I can cast Spirit Guardian and just wait for them to come here. Let's go ahead and roll it up, then. Anybody have higher than a 20? Anybody have between a 20 and a 15? Uh-oh. Anybody have between a 15 and a 10? 12. Anybody have between a 10 and a 5? 9 for the rogue. 9 on the clerk. Fighter has 8. And 3 for the rogue. Wizard, you're kicking us off. Yeah, I think it's a chain lightning on the big guy and let it bounce. Tell me about it. Dex DC 18. The rogue fails. Give me the damage. 47 plus 5. 52. They all fail, so they're going to take 52 points. Move into that west alcove over there. After the Asia Wolf is a blind oracle. Let's go one diagonal to the south east. Cast fly on the fighter via the instrument of the bards. God, there's nothing to hide behind. That's okay. Let's go back behind the alcove over there. Bonus action hide. After the blind oracle is the longfish. Rummy towards the wizard. Level three spirit guardian. Nominated people I can see. Oops. I can stay out of your range. All right. Yeah, I'll exclude the rogue. After that, we're going to go to the train. I'm going to fly to the closest guy and whackity whack. 19 plus numbers. 19's crit. You crit on 19's and 20's. Hell yeah. Okay. So that's 17. 23. Hits. Two on the dice. You reroll ones and twos. Cool. Again, it's so that's nine total. Last attack, twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. Damage is seventeen. After that, we're gonna go to my turn. Griffins are gonna attack you. The one immediately next to you is gonna make two attacks with the beak and the claw. First one's a ten to hit you. It does not hit. Second one is a twenty-three to hit you. Yep, that hits. Take eleven points of slashing damage. This griffin is going to move away, provoking an attack of opportunity. Nineteen. Nineteen hits. Thirteen damage. Next one's going to move in and attack. Twenty-four to hit you with the beak. Yep. Take twelve points of piercing damage. Nat twenty to hit you with the claws. Oh. Okay. Seventeen points of slashing damage. It's going to move away. Your reaction has been spent, so there's no opportunity attack there. Next one flies in. Nat one to hit you. It's going to miss. Twelve to hit you. Twelve does not hit. And it's going to fly out. We're just going to load up on this side. They're going to dash to there. And we're going to dash to there. This one's going to dash to there. For here, we're going to go drop the cleric off the cliff. So that'll be 
65 feet of its move, leaving with 55 when it gets there. And then it's going to lose three additional squares of movement, leaving it with eight after this. Wisdom 18. <laughs> 10 fails. For a measly 16 damage. It's going to make a beak attack against you, 16 to hit. That will miss. And then it's going to make a talon attack against you, 29 to hit. That will hit. That's a heck of a hit. 23 points of slashing damage. Ouch. That's a DC 11 concentration save. 17. That'll pass. You're grappled, but DC 19. You're restrained, and it's going to move with, it's because it's within the spirit dragon. guardian range. And because it's dragging <laughs> you, it's going to drag the spirit guardians with it, which is going to make it very slow to move. But it's going to try anyway. It's going to go there, dragging you along with it. After the rogue is the top of the order, Asia Wolf. That changed a couple of things that I had planned. They are packed nice and tight in fireball configuration. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. It's either that or do I try to put haste on the cleric. I think I'm just going to do the fireball thing. So you can see this point here. I think that's going to get you the most of them. Or you can move somewhere else. You'll get one more if you move. Yep, move out of my hole. Do you have to be able to see the person that you're sculping around? Sculpt spell. You can see. So you're going to hit the fighter. And then moving out two more won't let me see. You could come over to here. Do it. I'd rather go for the big numbers. Fifth level. DC 18. 44. 44 or 22. The northernmost guy passes and he takes 22 and drops anyway. Eastern of the three is going to take 22 and drop. Western of the three is going to take 44 and drop. The Roke is going to fail with 11 and going to take 44. Anything else? That's all I've got. After the Asia Wolf, we go to the Blind Oracle. Move out from behind my hiding spot and shoot the rock. A 30 to hit. Hits. Good damage this go around. That's so disgusting. For 47 <laughs> points of damage. Good numbers, dice. And then bonus action hide. After the blind oracle is the longfish, what do you got? DC 19 to escape, right? Acrobatics or athletics are your option. I'm gonna try it. 19! 19, you're free. That's your action. What else you got? Move me right south of the wizard and turn there. After the longfish is the train rex. Train rex is going to move west one and attack that bird. Nat 20. Crits. 19 total. Second attack is 25. Hits. 19 and last attack is 26 yep 14 damage after that we go to my turn rogue is going to start its turn off in the zone wisdom 18 pass with a 20 15 halves to 7 damage rogue is going to move to there it's going to do its talon attack against cleric 23 to hit you cleric that will not hit i miss you with a 23 Oh, 23? No, that would hit. I thought it was <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Yeah, I have, a, I have a plus two modifier to hit on a challenge level 11. 21 points of slashing damage. And give me a DC 10 concentration save. 20. After that, we're going to go to a beak attack on the wizard. That'll be a 24. Four to hit you, wizard. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, that's going to hit. 28 points of piercing damage. You concentrating or anything? Nope. It's going to fly out to here, and then we're going to drop the cleric. Cleric gets 300 feet down, so give me one second. Reaction? Featherfall, 60 feet. Choose up to five fallen creatures within range. The descent slows to 60 feet per round. That's your reaction. Over here, we've got three attacks to go after the fighter. Nat 20 on the beak to hit you, fighter. Uh. Take 14 points of piercing damage. 21 on the claw. Take 7 points of slashing damage. He's going to hang out there, no reason to move. This one's going to move into here. 25 to hit you with the beak. Yep. Take 8 points of piercing damage. And 17 to hit you with the claw. No. This one's going to move in. 21 to hit you with another beak attack. Yep. Take 10 points of piercing damage. Still up? Barely. And then the nat 20 to finish you off. Yep. 11 points of slashing damage. Totally out. The last one can move, so it's going to go bother wizard. After my griffins is the Asia wolf. You can still see the fighter, but you're a sculptable bolt. Fireball? Yep. Scroll, third level, DC 18 dex, 28. Fail, this griffin is dead. Fail, this griffin is dead. And fail. Anything else? Yeah, let's move back in that cove. After that, we're going to go to the blind oracle. Pop out, shoot the large bird. Something, something not broke, don't fix it. 25 to hit. 25 hits. For 42 points of damage. Back? Yep. After that, we go to the longfish. All right, longfish, you're going to drop 60 feet. You're now 120 feet down. For my last act, I am going to level one guiding bolt. 120 foot range before you lose it. <laughs> 19 to hit. 19 connects. 17 damage. And whoever attacks it next will get the bonus advantage and turn. After that, we go to the train wrecks. Give me a death saving throw. 
15. 15 is a success. After that, we go to my turn. This griffin is going to fly into here and give advantage on the roke for it to make its attacks. The roke is going to fly there, and it's going to make its two attacks against the wizard. We're going to get advantage on this attack. 19 to hit you, wizard. Yield. Pop a shield and the talon misses, then the beak attack. 17. My dice failed me at the last possible moment. No more reaction for you, so we're going to fly back out here. After the rogue, we're going to go to the Azure Wolf. Magic Missile, level 2. On that, dude's decided to come stand next to you. Looking at a 4. 4 on the die, plus 1 is 5, plus 5 is 10, times 4 is 40. This guy takes 40 damage and drops. What else? Move farther back in. After that, we go to the Blind Oracle. Things are broken, you need to fix them. Move out, shoot the Roke. 17 to hit. 17 hits. For 41 points of damage. Lethal. You have one person making death saving throws, what do you do? Move to the fighter. I think I have to dash to get there. That's my turn. Longfish. Drop by 60 feet. Can I maneuver myself and try to grab onto the cliff or do I just going to keep falling? Unless you have something that allows you to move through the air without touching the ground. Train. Give me a death saving throw. Nat 20. Nat 20 will do it. That stands you up with one hit point and that will end the encounter. Hit points remaining. 139 out of 139. 75 out of 137. One. 84. <laughs> Any pre-rest actions? Channel Divinity for 65 hit points, whoever can use it. You're going to dump them all into the fighter? Yeah. Pearl of Power to get my level 3 spell slot back. Do you have a second Channel Divinity? Yeah, I guess we use that since the fighter is at like, what, 150 hit points? Should be able to get her all the way back to half. So then the fighter picks up another 17 hit points. Hit dice. I spent 8 and recovered 83. 6 to recover 28. Spend 8 to recover 59. Arcane recovery? Tell me about it. I could do 7, so we're going to burn 3 to get a 3rd level slot back, and let's get a 4th. I'm also summoning the bird back. Recast Warding Bond with a level 3 slot on the wizard. And do you want to summon your python now so that you'll have it ready for the next one? Yes. After a short detour to the bottom of the mountain, the adventurers are going to make their way back up and onwards to the white dragon that they know and love and will kill at the top. Four encounters down, two more to go before the long rest. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Sarsen Zero, and I will see you next time.